Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at part 2 in the Morse code translator. And this is the... What we're going to do today is create the reset line. So, what I did before this is I created the system again. This is so we can detect the dot and the dash, and then detect if it's a dot dash again. So you have... Um, you can detect multiple inputs. To join them up, basically what I did is the RS null latch from before, which we used to detect the dot and the dash and also to stop any other signal coming through, and took this off to an AND gate. These redstone repeaters here uh, delay the message so that if someone presses a dash, the message cannot carry on going through. This wire here comes directly from the sender so that it will only activate once the button is pressed again and then it's exactly the same system as we built before just replicated over and over again you see it's all parallel to each other okay now for the reset line what we want to do is just at any point along this line near your uh, Base, uh, your first decoder you just want to take off the line and split it like you do for the dash uh, detector but this time instead of just having three like we do for the dash we're going to have a fourth so we can detect that it's longer than a dash so that it can see it's time to reset so this is just the basic AND gate again and we're just going to check that the message reached all the way through and activates it yep so we know we need a nice long signal to pass it through like we do in our reset line so from here we can just simply take off this uh, signal I'm delaying this so that when the message comes through it will also be uh, sending stuff through here but so so if the um, message is coming through here we don't want it to uh, reset and then be activated again later so we're just delaying it through so that all the message it's all finished around there and then we can reset it through I hope you understand that so we're just going to delay it by 4 here and then we're going to bring it down here I have already created the tunnels to each of my RS null latches but to do this basically what I did is come to the RS null latch, dig down the line you want reset to find out the line you want reset just come where the input is and it's your first line here that's the line you want to reset so if you press it under there that light will turn on like so so you want to come and under here and then just place a torch under each of your RS null latches so there's also going to be one here Yep, and over here. Now this is another benefit of having everything mirrored across because you can simply have the canals running. Now from your reset line you also want to bring this down here. As well as bringing it down though you want to uh, invert it. This is so that uh, defaultly the torches are off. So that when the uh, message comes through they will all turn on resetting the RS null latches. So let's extend that signal along and just need to extend this signal. And there it's all off. Good. So now they're all connected up, we're going to test the RS null, I mean the reset line. So we're just going to send a message through and then we're going to reset it. So we're just going to send a dot and a uh, dash. One little thing I'd like to mention about the reset line is I've made it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 long. It really doesn't need to be 6 long, it only needs to be uh, 4. But I would suggest making it at least 5. 
Also, what you want to do is check that the when you press the reset line, that the message gets all the way through there from the very beginning. Let's try that again. You see it's not making it all the way through? As soon as I press it, there's a bit of delay before it reaches the thing. So what we need to do is just place another redstone repeater here so that the message carries on all the way again. You see that? Okay. And also, as we checked before, uh, we checked to see that from here, the message reaches all the way. Sometimes people make the mistake of having the distance here too long, so that even though it reaches there, it will eventually reach those repeaters, it doesn't reach over here. So you need to make sure that you have another redstone repeater here to make sure that the signal reaches straight away. Okay. So now we're just going to send through a message and then So that's a dash and you can I can see the light over there on. I don't know whether you can. And a dot. And then I'm just going to reset that line and then if we go over there, they should um, all be off at the end. and uh, these middle lights should also be off. Oh, lightning. That's cool. And these middle lights should also be off. Okay, thank you very much for watching part two of this Morse code tutorial. I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.